Well, hello folks and welcome to another of my summer adventures while camping again that's a beautiful spot down by the river Trent it's really peaceful here I'm gonna have to have something to eat my stomach is rumbling a little bit too soon to put a tent down yet it's only half eight I'm gonna wait for the cover of darkness a little bit more before I set down for the evening before well, I show you the configuration of the bike today pump Tent pegs under here, got some roulette straps holding it down. Food, inner tubes strapped onto the front there. A pair of sandals here, banana for the morning, uh, sleeping bag, tent is in there as well. Gonna be setting up probably about in about an hour from now, but in the meantime, I, I need to get something to eat. He's back on the bike. Why am I back on the bike? You're probably asking yourself. I've got to pick, bring with me for this trip. A lighter. So I've just gone down the road to Loudham. Not familiar with the area. Google convenience store. Up oh, came a budgeons and a spa. Both closed. Saw a pub. Went to the pub. Thought, right, I'm going to go in there. Then I saw the glowing lights of the local co op in Loudham. Otherwise, I'd be eating cold rice. Probably pass on that, but I'd be eating. Uh, cold meat so i'm just heading back to the riverbank now it's just coming up to half nine so there's still plenty of light left in this long summer day i'm right, gonna waste no time getting something to eat <laughs> there's a light in there after all oh. okay on today's menu Got some chicken and sweet corn flavoured whole grain rice from Co-op. And just, just to make it clear, I'm not sponsored by Co-op. <laughs> and da, 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 stag chili, chili con carne. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm doing what that much wild camping and things like that. I should really bring my own meat and uh, save some money because these aren't cheap. I think this is like two pound fifty or something like that. But dead easy. Just warm it up. I hope you like the backdrop. <laughs> Things just scattered everywhere. I've got some M&Ms as well to enjoy this evening. I like a little bit of chocolate, a bit of a treat. So today's ride is about 50 miles after work to get here. Nice, easy, quiet roads, and now a lovely meal. So first I'm starting off with some boiling, some hot water, chuck in the rice, cook that off, eat that, and while I'm eating that, do the meat as well. Simple, basic foods. Smells gorgeous. Just about ready. Well, I don't know how well you can see me, but it is, it's coming up to a quarter to 11. It's time to uh, say good night. It's a beautiful sunset over there. You won't be able to make much of it out, but Really is a nice one. Good morning. Hello. Oh, I'd love to say I've had a great night's sleep, but I forgot to bring a jacket with me and I've been really cold at times the last hour. I've been like, ooh, shivering, trying to keep warm. Oh. Right, I suppose I better make myself a nice warm coffee and some porridge to get myself warmed up. 
So this is my new tent. This is the uh, Monga 2 from Nature Hike. As you can see, very spacious, much bigger than my uh, previous tent. <laughs> you can see me in the middle here. It's got entrance on one side and the entrance on the other. Pocket right at the very front there and a little pocket round behind me. And there's this, this high sp suspending thing there. If you want to put stuff out of the way somewhere, you put a few bits and bobs in there if you like. Glorious morning. Double chocolate mocha. Sorted. What a wonderful spot. This is the River Trent. Really pleased with this new tent. We arrived a couple of days ago, it's been up twice now. We were practice running in the garden and again now. It was up in probably 10 15 minutes at most, really easy. And uh, can I say there was not much light left in the day. I can tell you, it wasn't too much of a struggle. Oh, that's good. Oh, nothing like a good coffee in the morning. So it's a about quarter to six now. Beautiful morning, it's the best part of the day this, isn't it? The route yesterday, about 50 miles, and literally I've been following the uh, River Trent all the way up from West Butterwick, all the way down here to Hoveringham. So my next job is to put this tent away, it shouldn't take me too long. About half a mile up the road is a campsite which has stayed in recently and as I'm out of water I'm going to go grab some from there
folks, I'm on my way home, leaving Nottinghamshire, heading back to North Lincolnshire. It's been an exciting wild camp, really enjoyed it. Looks like there's a fantastic day ahead. It's gonna be a warm one. the banks of the river Trent here at Fiskerton. Come and join me again. I'll see you. Bye bye.